What's up guys and welcome to this week's video. I wanted to kick this video off with a question to you guys. I wonder if you are the exact same as me. Um, this video is going to show you how quickly my mind changes and moves in a completely different direction. It's non-stop. Honestly, I drive myself nuts sometimes. Leave a comment and let me know if I mean, if you do the exact same thing when it comes to pretty much anything, let alone like bikes, cars, whatever. So if you remember from the last video, I said that we were going to use the Honda Shadow as our adventure bike. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link just up here. Go check it out. But there's just a few things that I couldn't live with long term on the road with the Honda Shadow. It's heavy, there's no fuel gauge, and honestly, the fuel economy is awful. It just eats fuel. So, I've sold it, and we're gonna drop it off to the new owner today, and you guys are coming with me for the last ride. I know, sad times. Nah, fuck that. Once we drop off the shadow, we're gonna go pick up my new bike. So stick around guys. Shit's getting a bit crazy. All right guys, that is enough talking. Let's get going. I am a little sad guys that I'm actually selling the bike because in the small short amount of time that I've had it we've done quite a lot and she's been great she's never given me any issues and she's such a great bike to ride but I suppose the only consolation is I know that the bike is actually going to a good home so yeah, I'm happy. And I reckon the new owner will be as well. So for anyone that actually follows me on Instagram, you will have seen some of my actual posts recently where I've done some shoot, some photo shoot with the guys from Master Supply Company and the bike has been in the photos as well so it turns out that the owner from master supply company one of the owners from master supply company actually took a like or a liking to the bike when we were doing the photo shoot and he's actually gone and bought the bike so that's actually where we're on our way to now guys we are on our way over to actually deliver the bike to Lane and drop it off at the Master Supply Company warehouse and showroom. So I'm gonna to get to give you guys a tour of the actual showroom. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Master Supply Company guys are like this really cool um, leather jacket company from that are based in Toronto. They do like super cool motorcycle jackets, uh, cowboy jackets and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to go over and we're going to drop the bike off and take a look around the showroom. So let's try and get out of this traffic and uh, get some clear roads so that we can actually have a nice ride for the, the final ride on, on the shadow.
guys we're just arriving here to the warehouse and showroom so I'm gonna park up and then we get inside and show you guys master supply company cool This entire thing started in 2006 when I was in grade nine. I saw the wild one and that changed everything for me. I wanted, I wanted that. <laughs> I wanted a cool motorcycle. I wanted to do cool shit and I wanted all of that. I was very, uh, very impressionable. So in 2006 in grade nine, I went looking for a motorcycle and didn't really find anything, struck out. I said, you know what, I'll do it later in a couple of years whatever but what i did do was at the time i bought a leather jacket i bought a motorcycle style double rider cowhide leather jacket and i had that thing all the way until i started my own leather jacket company in uh, 2018 2019 so that brings me here 2024 uh saw this bike first on the internet and then reached out to yourself and did a shoot with it and you really shouldn't have told me that it was for sale <laughs> so with some hum and some ha i said you know what screw it let's do it you know always wanted a bike and it's just strange how life works and then we get there so ultimately what this is for me is my first motorcycle i'm very excited to start riding start doing all that fun shit but it's also a really nice prop <laughs> it's gonna be great to shoot with it's gonna be great to do photos videos all that cool stuff again I've been wanting one of these for years and years now and uh, just I'm more excited to get this thing on the road and experience what it is to ride a bike own a bike open road mentality full tank mentality um, just it's high time that I got myself on two wheels rather than four so feeling good so again thanks for dropping off this amazing machinery thank you for the keys but I'll see you later <laughs> all right guys so that was master supply you know what time it is let's go get my new bike Kawasaki KLR 650 guys I haven't named her yet so if you want to leave a comment let me know what you think I should name her I'd be happy for the help she doesn't have a fuel gauge but she's definitely lighter and has way better fuel efficiency than the shadow plus she's a bit of a beast and well equipped for well the adventures that we're going to be putting her through in the next video, I'll take you guys through the plans that I have for her and we'll, we'll take it out for the first ride. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys with a cold start. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And please give me the thumbs up. But for now, until next time. <laughs>